Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing what if Obito train Arto slash adopt <clears throat> so after, okay, so basically, when when Minato hit Obito with the contract seal, the thing on Obito's heart released. Because in this one, what if that was really it was really kind of like a contract, like a summon contract. It's, it's a contract, anyway. And they basically released it, but they released a, they released a toxin into Obito's body that will kill him, and um, that will that will slowly kill him. So Obito, you know, would have broke, um, would have been shocked to see his sensei there, and would have been witnessing all of it, but he wouldn't have been able to control his emo control himself. So witnessing this, it really broke him, and he come away away. Now eventually, Minato sealed the Nine Tails into Naruto. Obito reappeared and took Naruto, deciding to repay his sensei by raising his son to be as strong as him. So when Zetsu would come, Obito would um, decide that he will kill Zetsu, but not now. Obito would tell Zetsu that he's going to train Naruto to where he they can use the Nine Tails to go on and capture the other um, Biju. And you know, Toby, um, not Toby, Zetsu would obviously agree with this, saying that this is a smart idea. So what Obito would know, um, Obito would have had Zetsu look at his body. Zetsu wouldn't have known that the what about exactly the sickness was, but he would have told Obito that his body was going through a sickness that would slowly kill him in over around 12 to 14 years, if an estimate is if that's around his estimate. So Obito would decide to use, to train Naruto from the young age of 3 all the way to the age of 14, to take him back to Konoha then, so that Naruto can, you know, redeem Obito. So Obito will begin to do experiments, implanting some of Hashirama cells, some of Madara cells, along with well, no, no, no Madara, along with um his Hashirama cells and his cells. So, and this is from a very young age, like as a boy. So his body is growing to accept this. So um, for when the age Naruto turns on his third birthday, Obito will buy Naruto a kunai set. And they will begin his training. Now, Obito, for, from the ages of three to five, um, to f uh, five, will work on his physical training, like um, Taijutsu, phys um, physical, like his body, and shuriken, and kunai thong, all of that. And they will continuously work on this for years to come, from the age of I said three, uh, six to eight. They will work. They will basically from the age of. Six to the age of fourteen, Obito will basically be training Naruto exactly how Madara trained him. With Naruto actually becoming a higher rank shinobi than he is, and I'm talking about not not no startership, not no start of Naruto, Obito. I'm talking about start um Shippuden Obito when he was Madara, when he was going as Madara Uchiha. That broken, Naruto is that broken from from the age of fourteen. <clears throat> so. Obito was finally coming down with his sickness, so he would um, then call Zetsu and using some of his some of the last bits of his chakra, he would he would then um, kill Zetsu by um, by sucking him into the um, into the Kami dimension, <clears throat> which is actually has a bunch of paper tags. But since Z but Zetsu can't really go into the ground in his, in that dimension. So Zetsu was blown up, or basically sealed away inside the coming dimension for now. Or, well, yeah, he's blown up basically. So, you know, he's already started the Akatsuki, and Akatsuki's, you know, making their moves. Toby still, um, Obito's still been making an appearance as Madara. He's been training Naruto to take on the modern persona if he has to. If Konoha doesn't accept him, so Obito would then, while Naruto sleep, would drug him and then implant his shining gun into Naruto's eye. Something weird would happen. Obito would see that Naruto's other eye would begin to fade from a normal shot from his Sharingan 
went from a Sharingan to his normal black, um, blue eyes. As he would then, um, and his, he would notice that his Sharingan is going from black, from um, the Sharingan to black to blue, and back in order, until it finally settles on the blue. Which Obito believes that this is because of the um, him implanting some of his cells along with Hashirama cells, which allowed the Sharingan to be fully accepted into Naruto. So with this, Obito would then um, wait a couple more, um, like wait a week or two while Naruto's healing, and would then explain to him everything, telling him that he killed his parents because he was being controlled by Madara, saying that he has to stop Madara's plans, but not right now. He won't. He would tell him that he, his. He would tell him who his parents are. That his parents, the fourth, Ok his father is the fourth Okage, and his mother is Kushina Uzumaki, the Red Death. <clears throat> so, you know, Naruto would be very shocked to hear this, but would understand. And Obito would then tell him that because of him being controlled, he killed his own sensei, a man who he looked up to, Kushina, a woman who he looked up to. <clears throat> He would say that he hurt the Hidden Leaf, a village that he loved as his own home. That only be- because of the fact is that Ren had died, he went to the dark side. So, you know, Naruto would accept this, but Obito would ask him to take on a moniker of Tobi. What does Naruto would do? Is o- Obito would give Naruto a his orange mask off of his head. And would give him an Akatsuki cloak, along with a miniature version of his clothes. So, yes. So, Naruto would take this, and Obito would then tell Naruto that he should go up to Konoha. It's telling him that he's dying, and that he only has a few days to live. To which Naruto would tell Obito that he doesn't want to leave, not yet. That he wants to be here with Obito, for Obito. So, Obito would um, understand it, would tell Naruto, fine. He would then tell Naruto to take him to Kon- take his body to Konoha by sucking his body into Kamui and then Kamui can get out at Kon- at Konoha inside of Konoha so so that he can get a proper burial and to tell them the truth. So Naruto would understand and a couple of days later Obito would die from the sickness in his heart. Now I know you guys are wondering what happened to the Uchiha massacre. Now Madara really wanted revenge. And it was one Genjutsu that he planted into Obito that caused him to still help mask with the Uchiha massacre. So yes, at the, so Marta had one single command. He still wanted revenge against the Uchiha's returning on him and not going with him when he tried to get them all to leave Konoha. So he he despised the Uchiha's for that <clears throat> and implanted this into Obito so that he could eventually kill off the Uchiha clan. And when he came back, he would be the last Uchiha. Or him and Obito would be. Until, he you know, he eventually killed Obito. <clears throat> so yes, there is still Itachi, Sasuke, and Obito. But no longer since Obito is now dead. So Naruto will come with Obito. And he, would take Kami, he would take Obito into the Kamui dimension. And Obito would then... Um, and Naruto would then go on to leave to hit Konoha. Now, a couple weeks later, after getting out of the place, Naruto would appear in Kona and would be meted at the gate by uh, his Sir Tobi, asking him who he is and why was his chakra registered in Konoha 12 years ago on the night of the, uh, the Naruto's attack. So his Naruto would then look up and would say it's because that day he was being, it was the day that he was born. And he was in O's that only one person was born that day. And he would rush off to Naruto. <clears throat> and would say, you're, you're Naruto. Naruto would say, yes, I am. Saying that I've been gone for a while. And he would say that there's somebody he needs to talk to. A man named Kakashi. So Obi- um, so he was in with understanding this. So he would call for Kakashi. And him, he would escort Naruto to his office. So when Kakashi would appear in the office, Naruto would begin to, um, would, you know, begin to talk to him. And he was in with tell Kakashi that this is Naruto. His sensei's son, somehow that he's alive. And, you know, Kakashi would be very happy at this because he thought he felt his sensei by not being there to, nor, not being there fast enough to save his son. But now his son is alive and back with him. <clears throat> so, 
Now, um, Naruto will begin into the details about Obito. Now, it was it would hurt Kakashi that Obito was alive and chose not well was not coming back to Konoha. But Naruto would explain to him that Obito would have eventually came back. You then tell um Kakashi, Obito is the one who attacked Konoha, but it wasn't under his it wasn't of his own will. That Obito was forced into it by Madara Uchiha. You know, this will obviously shock Kirizen and um and Kakashi said that Madara died when the whole first when they fought the first first Okage. So, you know, Naruto explained that Madara never died then. He died um of old age. Telling him that Mater used the forbidden Uchiha forbidden jutsu called Izanagi, which allows him to rewrite reality. Which you know would um, he was then would begin to be shocked by this because if Mater could do this, what's to say the other Uchihas didn't use Izanagi and aren't alive or just somewhere out of Konoha? <clears throat> so he will have a barrier core look into the um, Uchiha clan. Yeah, I see if any Uchiha's besides Itachi and Obito apparently left Konoha. If any Uchiha chakra, chakra signatures left. Now, when Hiruzen confirmed that this has happened, Hiruzen will be very happy because this means that the Uchiha clan cannot hurt anyone. So, anyways. <clears throat> anyways, now. Obito. Obito. So now Naruto would then tell Hiruzen that Obito sent him here to join with Konoha. To which Hiruzen will not, as he would ask Naruto, how strong is he? To which Naruto would tell, uh, tell him that Obito fought his father, and Obito stated that he was stronger than him when he fought his father. So, you know, Hiruzen would be um, shocked to hear this, saying that Naruto could easily be a Jonin. But then Kakashi would then tell Hiruzen that he's going to reside as being a Jonin Sensei. That he doesn't want to teach anyone. That he's going to take Naruto in under his wing and, it, and he's going to go back into Anbu with Naruto. He hopes that Naruto becomes an Anbu with him. So Hiruzen would accept this, saying that he has to inform the council of this. Of Naruto's appearance and everything. So now, you know. So now, um, Hiruzen would call a council meeting and would inform the council that, K- that Kakashi is not going to be taking on any sensei, um, any students this year. Kakashi is going back into, you know, Anbu. And then the council will ask what, which Hiruzen will then laugh and tell him that the fourth Okage's son just came back to Konoha, which would shock the civilians. And Donzo, um, the elders obviously knowing who um, Naruto is, Knowing that he, um, Minato had a son, we shocked saying that they thought he had died all those years ago, and asking Saratobi where was he at. To which Saratobi would then tell him that Naruto was taken by Obito Uchiha, saying that Obito wasn't dead, and would explain the entire situation. So the council would accept Naruto in, but would then, um, well, the Shinobi council would. But the villains would then force. Try to enforce um we'll call Kakashi and we'll try to enforce him to teach Sasuke since Sasuke is the last known Uchiha. Now Kakashi would then tell him that he's found a discovery that there's another possible Uchiha, which he would call in Naruto. And Naruto would explain that Obito had given him um basically did a he basically implanted him with his own cells along with some of Hashirama Senju's cells. If he activates the Sharingan that Obito gave him. Shocking everyone, because they can only see the one eye. They would then ask Naruto to reveal his, remove his mask, so that they can see if he's truly the son of the fourth Okage. Saying that Naruto's hair is not really blind enough to be the Okage's. Because Naruto says that this is the cause of most of the experiments. But Naruto will reveal his mask, will remove his mask, and would um, turn off both of his, um, one of his Sharingan. Because the other one is not on. And everyone will be shocked to see a miniature Minato with with, with whisker marks on his face. He looks just like Minato, except his hair is mostly black. His hair is black. So Naruto would then use a 
Ken should transform his hair into that of Minato's hair, and they will be shocked to see that he looks just like Minato with whiskers, though. So the councils will accept this and will tell him that he has to train, tell Kagashi he still has to train Sasuke. Twist Sasuke says that he's done with this, that he will no longer be in the civilian council's lap, that he only allowed this because he was going through something with his um, sensei's death and his sensei's son's death. Saying that he's going to be taking on Naruto as a student, um, as a personal student, and that he's also going to go in Ambu with Naruto. And him and Naruto would then leave. So here's him being dismissed. Um, dismissed the meeting, and oh, Naruto will begin his Ambu journey. Now, um, here's him with Naruto's great to um. Jenin said, telling Naruto that he would be the first Jenin, Jenin um, Ambu, telling him that the council kind of forced their hand, saying that since Kakashi won't train train Sasuke, that they're going to force Naruto to become a Jenin and go through the Chunin exams, like normal, like a normal person, telling him that the Chunin exams are in around six months. So Naruto would use, um, would nod it, and him and Kakashi would leave, and they would use his time to get stronger. With Naruto going on many S ray missions and Naruto becoming the poster boy for Ambu. Now, Donza would eventually leak information that the owner of the mask, the masked man who goes by the name of Toby, and, um, and um, Konoha, the Konoha Ambu Toby, was Naruto Uzumaki, the son of the Yellow Flash and Kushina, would tell every, um, would leak this information to the um, elementary nations that Naruto would be ranked as an S rank shinobi. Being places the bingo book and everyone in the um everyone in the elemental nations believes that Naruto will most likely be the next Hokage if chosen if Fusion chose chose his successors right. This will make Konoha be, um, prove that Konoha will always produce the best Shinobi. This is what they um well, this is what the other elemental nations think that Konoha always produces the best Shinobi. So um, one night, Naruto's sleeping um, at, um, at Kakashi's house, because this is actually where he stays instead of at his father's compound. Naruto will be kidnapped. Um, they would tie him away. And they, no one really knows about, knows that he has a, no one would know that he has a space-time technique, but no one would know that it's due to his dojutsu, which he can actually activate on its own in case he's ever kidnapped. It's kind of something that he programmed into his eye. Itself. So eventually, when Sasuke, Kakashi would get the notice of this and would know that there's a struggle in this house and that Naruto was taken, somehow, some way, he will be shot. When Naruto will look, um, will eventually um, look up, he would notice that this is not Kumo, like his mother. This is not Iwa for his father. This is not Suna. This is Kiri. So, um, the Mizukage wants Naruto because Naruto is dressing up exactly like the man who manipulated him. And Yagura eventually, um, did this as his last wish as Mizukage. So, Naruto would, um, activate his, um, com- his combo would instantly activate, sucking him into the, um, realm. And she would then suck himself out, um, or come out of the comic dimension in, in the, in Konoha. Which was shock using and Kakashi were about to leave to go search for Naruto. And when they would ask Naruto who took him, Naruto would explain that it was Kiri. He doesn't know why, but they wanted him. So when the Kiri um, people would eventually show up, as Naruto would then be there and would slaughter them all, not leaving the single one alive, keeping his record of a perfect, uh, uh, his hundred percent perfect um, completion record. So she was in the end of this an Ambu mission, an S rank Ambu mission. <clears throat> so eventually Yagura would learn, learn that his men were slaughtered and would call a five Kage meet uh, five Kage summit. And he was in one bring Kakashi and Naruto. So Yagura seeing Naruto would about was about to attack him when he was in would tell him that he should probably sit down before um before he has to get involved. Now, Yagura respects Hyrujin because Hyrujin is not known as the god of Shinobi for no reason. So Yagura would honestly um, listen to Hyrujin and would sit back down. So Yagura would say that he wants Naruto dead because the man, he looks exactly, that Naruto was wearing the exact same thing that the man who controlled him 
for years into starting the blood um the um bloodline execution or the um civil war inside of Kiri looked like, who controlled him into this. Was Naruto would explain to um Ryagura that Obito was not for was not willingly wanting to do that. That he, well but actually Obito willingly did that actually. Because he said that Obito did that because of Kiri forcing um the three tails onto um Ren when she was a guinea. Or uh well onto Obito's um, getting a squad mate. So now, you know, Yagura would then deny this, saying that this is not true, that saying that this is not true, that they never forced Three Tails onto anyone. But Naruto would then tell Yagura that he didn't become the Three Tails until after. And this is when Obito decided to put him under Genjutsu to start this, to kill off Kiri. Thing that whatever Obito did, that this is not his problem. That even if he was his student, that this is that has nothing to do with him. This all it is is this. It was just a grudge, a past grudge with someone who's no longer alive. Now Yager couldn't really accept this. So would ask the Hokage for um to hand over Naruto. So he was in what obviously tell Yager that he's out of his mind if he thinks that he's going to hand over Naruto. <clears throat> so now Yagra is well. How do I say this? To install. So with this, he was in with dismiss will tell everyone that he's leaving. Yagura will call will then be able to attack you, is it? But everyone will be shocked to see Yagura being slaughtered immediately by Naruto. So Naruto tells the other Kage to so let this be known. That he will not take any abuse being sent to him. That if anyone tries to touch his Okage, that he will absolutely massacre them. And he will ask everyone does do they understand? Which everyone would definitely nod their head. Yes. So with this. <clears throat> so with this. Naruto here's him, and Kakashi will head off the corner. With Naruto being ranked as a SS rank shinobi. For killing Akage. <clears throat> So now, um, six months, uh, well, yeah, I guess this happened in the six months of time. So now, here's in tells Naruto here, he's going to be prepared for the Junior exam. He's going to be put on a team with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruna that he has to report to the um, academy first thing in the morning for the test. And Naruto will tell here's that he'll be there. And we'll leave to go to sleep for the rest of the night. And this is where I'm going to be ending off What If Obito Trained Naruto Part 1.